Hey, I'm Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. Well, uh, spring has come very quickly here, and uh, just two nights ago it was 30 degrees, and all of a sudden it's 68 degrees, and the daffodils are popping, and it uh, feels good. But boy, the winter was it drug on so long, it seemed like it would never end. Uh, but today we're going to be insulating the rim joist of this house, and the rim joist is right here. It's the edge of the wood floor framing system. Uh, just on top of the foundation and uh, it is leaky in most every house. It leaks air and it also is under insulated. So it's a, uh, a, an area that uh, really needs to be improved in most every house. Let's take a look inside. So here we are in the basement and the rim joist is up there and it's hard to see in this house. Uh, the floor joist, as you can see, uh, go in and they rest on top of the what's called the sill plate. The sill plate rests on top of the foundation and at the end of those floor joists there's another uh, same uh, size piece of lumber that goes across the outside perimeter of the house and that is the rim joist. And uh, we have a lot of air leakage there and we have uh, it's uh, typically under insulated. Sometimes it's hard to get to. We have ducts in the way and pipes and wires but all along the perimeter of your floor system uh, is the rim joist. So I made this drawing to give you a better idea. Typically this is your foundation wall and then the sill plate is a piece of lumber that rests on top of the foundation wall and then this is your rim joist right there. Right above your rim joist is your subfloor and then above that is your rooms up here where you stand and and uh, you can feel the temperature of the floor, and then here's your exterior walls, here's the siding. Now, what's the problem? Well, the problem is that you get air leakage, okay? The house has negative air pressure in the basement, sucking air in, and positive pressure at the top, blowing air out. So it sucks at the bottom, and in the cold weather, we're gonna have air that comes in here, okay? We're gonna have air that comes in under the siding here. We're gonna have air that comes in here. So we have a lot of air leakage. To make it worse, we put uh, pipes and electrical conduits through the rim joist, uh, fuel lines oftentimes, uh, air conditioning lines, and we have air leakage around those holes. So, but that's not all, it gets worse because we have unconditioned cold air leaking in, making our basement cold and our floor right above cold. We also have um, uh, conductive heat loss. And what does that mean? Well, this is air leakage, that's convective uh, heat loss or cold air coming in, but this rim joist is going to be cold because it's uninsulated and being cold we know that hot uh, heat moves from more to less, okay, and so we're going to have uh, lose heat molecule by molecule through that cold rim joist and to the outside. So if we looked at the house with a thermal imaging camera we would see that it, this is a warm area here uh, on the outside in the winter time. So we have conductive heat loss through the cold rim joist and air leakage through the leaky rim joist, sill plate, foundation, subfloor, assembly area, and all that needs to be improved if we're gonna make a home more energy efficient, make the basement warmer or crawl space warmer, and make the floors warmer upstairs. So here we are upstairs, and this is the floor that's right above the rim joist. The rim joist is, of course, on the outside, and so if we have uh, air, cold air leaking in that rim joist and it's under-insulated, then that's gonna make our floors colder, uh, especially uh, floors that are not carpeted, tiled floors and laminate floors and so forth. Another thing we can see is this is a heat duct, and a lot of heat ducts are right at the rim joist area, and they are gonna be cold from the cold air blasted in, and you're gonna lose heat there. Uh, so uh, rim joists are important to fix. You know, there's certain houses that have what's called balloon framing instead of uh, more modern houses have what's called western or platform framing, which is what I showed you. Balloon framing is where the studs go from the top of the foundation all the way to the attic. And in a rim joist of a balloon framed house, we have the open stud cavities all the way to the attic. So that is where the, it's the expressway for air to go from the basement right up to the attic. And you get cold walls because of that and uh, lots of air leakage in your house because of that. And sealing the rim joist like Dr. Energy Saver does with balloon framing uh, seals those uh, wall cavities all around the upper part of the rim joist and now you have far less air leakage in the house as well. So if your house is old and it has balloon framing, even more reason to take care of your rim joist. The material that we're gonna use to seal and insulate these rim joists is polyurethane spray foam. It's a two-part polyurethane spray foam 
And when part A and part B come together with the right heat and the right pressure, it goes into the rim joist area and expands to stop all the air leakage and give us a great R value of R7 per inch for closed cell spray foam. There's different types of equipment that could be used to spray polyurethane foam. And here we're using a truck mounted equipment which is capable of uh, spraying a large volume of polyurethane foam for bigger jobs, uh, but there's other methods as well. In some cases, we won't use spray foam, we'll use board foam. Expanded polystyrene foam boards can be fitted into the rim joist bays and sealed around with one part uh, expanding foam. As you can see, the foam hits all the irregular surfaces around the pipes and wires and ducts and gaps and cracks and uh, all the odd shapes in the rim joist area and expands and seals it all up 100%. Something that no fiberglass bat and no other type of insulation could do in an application like this. This house now has sealed and insulated rim joists and the floors will be warmer. The homeowner will experience lower fuel and electric bills and the house will have a lower overall air leakage just because we've taken care of those rim joists. And once we do this work, it is done forever, it never has to be done again. And so your uh, return on this sort of investment just goes on and on and on and on forever. It's a very smart investment. If you have a house that you'd like to make more energy efficient, you'd like to lower your fuel and electric bills, or you have rooms that have cold floors, maybe an uncomfortable room over the garage, rooms that are too cold in the winter or too hot in the summer, call Dr. Energy Saver. We'd love to help you.